two hours before opening time at Selfridges, the biggest shop in the West End of London. At this time of the day, Selfridges is like a small village about to wake up. Last year, three of London's big stores closed down. Selfridges has soldiered on since 1909 and employs 3,000 people. Staff have to be at their posts, ready for the off by 10 to 9. A hard slog for some, but a labour of love for supervisor Vic Yates. I've been to so, uh, working at Selfridges for 17 years. I came here as an assistant in the menswear section. And from the first day, I fell in love with the place. The excitement of serving the customers, the bustle behind the scenes. They put it on with a sponge, which was about that big. It was massive. It's like a bath sponge. Before the doors open, cosmetics are called to order. It's a bit like being back at school, with a headmistress awarding points and prizes to girls who do well. All right, ladies. Everyone. Gosh, it is warm this morning. Once again, we're going to do our winning house for the month of April. We have, in actual fact, something else this morning because on Tuesday we had what I consider to be a very big sale in the department. Now, it was from a house that really had to work very, very hard to achieve this sale. And it was the baby of the team that actually made the sale. And therefore, to Sarah, wherever she might be, on Rubenstein, so we say thank you very much indeed, Sarah. That's it, you can. Hello, Dick. Good morning. <laughs> Behind the scenes, sometimes, of course, we, we, we relax and, and, and show our true selves. But to the public, no, you can never show your true self. You can, you can be honest, but you must act for their benefit, to show them or make them feel that they are welcome. So, OK, you've come out of the bed that day the wrong side, and why should you inflict it upon them? You know, they don't want this. They come in for a bit of entertainment. Selfridges is just like a theatre. Ten to nine, we're waiting for the public to arrive. The scene is set. Everything for the performance of when the people will arrive in at nine o'clock. We got over 3,000 people inside who are waiting for the doors to open so they can present this show to the people. Not only to take their money, to present this show to the people when they come in. Nearly 100,000 people pass through the doors every day. Each customer spends between four and five pounds. It's a common complaint these days that you can never find an assistant when you want one. Here, however, in the largest cosmetics and perfumery department in the world, it's more a question of trying to avoid them. Hello. Hello. Would you like to try some jewel? Oh, hang on. Stop and have a spray. You don't have time? No. Why is that? I'm busy for an appointment. Well, have, listen, have one of the cards. There you go. OK? Karen, what exactly is the job at the moment? Um, well, it just really involves, at the moment, we've got a promotion going on. It just involves going out and spraying customers and telling them what the promotion's all about and trying to entice them to buy the product, really. That's all it is. We just go out and spray people. And you can wear it one way or you can wear it two ways, which is in fashion at the moment. You've got no worry about travelling with this one. Gentlemen's hats, a distinguished domain on the first floor ruled for the past 20 years by Mr. Parker. Are you a pushy? Push Not one bit. That's bad salesmanship. If you push a customer in to buy something, you'll only fetch it back the next day and we give them a cash refund. That's not business. So therefore you see the customer, you understand the customer and uh, fix them up the best you can. But if you push, that's bad salesmanship. I've never pushed and I never will. We've got a promotion on today. If you spend £12 with Deal, we're giving you a lovely gift free. Giving you a soap on a rope and a bag free, and that's when you spend £12. Do you like to try some as well? Do you like to try some aftershave? 
We're giving a gift away today and you spend £12. No? So really, you know, obviously them two weren't any good at all, but um, it was worth spraying them. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Would you like to try some? No? You can get some people that can be quite offended by it. That's why you always ask somebody before you spray them. Otherwise, you know, if you just spray them, if they've got a suit on or something, you can get quite offended by it. So you have to be careful. Do you like wearing hats no, yourself? No, I'm too conscious. What do you mean? Well, you just not the type to wear a hat or a cap. I've tried and I don't like it. Maybe you shouldn't be saying that if you're well, saying... Well, there you are. There you are. You asked me. So... Is this a good location for... Um, Really, we were saying, um, we were discussing the other day that it isn't really because, as you know, it's right near the ladies' knicker department. Which really, I mean, you don't get that many men walking through the ladies' knicker department, as you can imagine. That's a bit kinky. It's Jewel by Christian Dior. Have you tried this one before? I have. You have? Do you like it? It's nice. Would you like to try some, sir? Huh? Some people just ignore you. It can be quite humiliating at times. In hairdressing, Gordon has a regular very fussy about his eyebrows, and Humphrey has to cope with a reluctant first-time customer. Where's Susie? Where's Susie? Happy? Enough. Two. Enough. Well, I can't see a damn thing you know I can't without my glasses. You always forget that, don't you? No, you can't see them because of your glasses. They're normally pretty petrified, so... Oh, don't be silly. We haven't got any stuff. What do you think this is? Well, bloody is well, find some then. Oh, look what I got. Ah! Right, are you happy? No. How how would you describe the customers? What what sort of a cross section is it? Marvelous. A very good cross section. You've got everything from kind of kids of fifteen who are punky to sort of mature businessmen of X age. Do you get difficult ones? Of course you get difficult ones, but it's the difficult ones that drive you mad, that give you the adrenaline to be nice to the nice ones. What's the most difficult one you've got, do you reckon? Most difficult... The most difficult ones I get rid of. Well, if you want to look after the public, you should come over to me and not stay over I've there. I've finished you, Mr well, I don't consider you have. To... What would you like me to do now? I'd, li I'd like to put some more eau de cologne on and do the job properly. I wonder why I come to you, to be insulted every time I come here. Do you like a bit of aggravation? That's why. To be aggravated by you is you not what I like. You get driven mad by people all the time, so you just come I in and drive pardon. me mad. You're always the same. That's one of my well, thank charms, Mr. Lowry. I don't, I don't How care. How much do I owe you for the coffee? Nothing. Stan, the goods liftman, who's been operating behind the scenes for 25 years. You don't get to see a lot of daylight, really, do you? No. Every door the door opens, I think I'm going to hand some bread and water or something. OK, don't be shy. Don't look miserable like that. Have you, have you ever wanted to be promoted to the to the big staff? Oh, they tried to get me on there, yeah. No way I want that. No. We have enough with the staff without customers. OK, come on. Smile as you come on. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. What's you, what you got here? What's this? Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Perfume. Yeah, Perfumetic. It's in the deal. Be the biggest money makers in the store, though. Yeah, yeah. All of the ground floor. All, all the ground floor. Yeah. Yeah. All the different things, the different flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, banana, apple. Yeah. All the flavor here. Okay. You know, Haji here, yeah. all the other flavor. When you finish, right? Soon we finish, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you describe your life? Lots of ups and downs. Do you know, people who work at Selfridges are supposed to love it, Stan. Well, it depends how long you've been here, doesn't it? And what sort of a job you're doing as well. Ever had a row with, with any of the bosses? Oh, lots of them, yeah. In the past, because they keep changing the governor's stuff. 
the latest governor, Mr. Stevens, who likes to be where the action is. I find this probably the most stimulating, exciting spot in the store because everybody goes past. The world goes past you here. I've met people from all over the world that I know who pass in this particular spot. Secondly, it is the great hub of the store as far as traffic flow and probably to me the most exciting part of the store on the ground floor. Do you find yourself counting the pennies or the pounds as people... Oh, all the time, because what I'm really interested in is the number of people carrying salvages back as they leave the escalator. And I think to myself, if they've gone around this total store with all the merchandise in it, and they're not carrying a bag, why not? Information has been received that pickpockets are operating in the Oxford Street area now. Please keep your handbags and wallets safe. Somebody on this counter? Make sure we're looking after this side, dear. Hello, Doreen. All right? Miss Brogan, head of cosmetics. Girls, don't be talking, please. Don't lean on the counter, dear. It doesn't look very nice. You bustle around this rather royally, don't you? Oh, I hope not. No, I don't think royally, but I do, I do bustle about, yes. But I thought you had a nickname. Yeah. Queen Mother. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. See, look at me, look at you, see what those girls Hawkeye. there? Hawkeye. Over there, when you said you d you're not royal, they looked like you might be royal. <laughs> no, it's nice to know who's important. And we obviously all know who Miss Rogan is. Now, 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 what's going on? Makeup, is it as glamorous as it's supposed to be? Is oh, it all? Very. Is it? Yes, I think it's the nicest department to be in, don't you, girls? That's right. I think it's, I think we're really very lucky. We all feel very fortunate. Of course, behind it all, there are a lot of great secrets, aren't there? <laughs> all the smiling faces and the anxiety to help hide a lot of aching feet. And I think sometimes, you know, our, our own private services as well. But I think that's part of the wonderful thing about cosmetics. We're more like show business than any other part of the store. Have We're you... on parade, aren't we, girl? <laughs> You've got nobody on the front, Nicky. Selfridges bag. And you think you may have lost it on Thursday? Oh, no, it's fine. Have you got a phone number, please? Lots of pairs of tights. We've even got an IT. Do you mean tights that have been worn? Oh, yes, yeah, sometimes you find them in bags where people have taken them out and changed them and then they leave them on the floor and nobody knows what's in it, so they bring it down to us. The IT is new. J-O-J-O... B A, yo yaba. Oh, that's fine. We've had some things from the shops in uh, Soho, but those we wrap up very carefully and we bury them in the rubbish. Nobody ever came back to ask for one. <laughs> Hello, here's a teddy bear. Oh, God, another one. Poor wee kid. What'll I call it? A teddy bear, I suppose. Yeah. You, you always know who they've lost um, by when the person they've lost turns up. You see, if it's a lady and she says, I've lost my husband, and he comes down and says, oh, you poor darling, have you had a long wait? Were you very upset? They're not married. And if he says, what the bloody hell have you been? They are. Can you say bloody hell on telly? Claude, destined to star in the Christmas window display, he might not look very realistic now, but wait until he gets the full treatment from display manager Colin Graves. So this camel, hopefully, if we can get someone to do it, is going to chew and to probably blink. It's just so that if you're looking at it, you, you can relax because it's doing all the things that a camel does and, and none of those sort of quirky or jerky obvious animation tricks like swinging its head around too quickly or wagging its tail all over the place. So uh, the problem we've got is that um, the cheap chew is like this, which is the way you know people chew. Camels, in fact, chew from side to side like this, and it's much more difficult to get an animation that goes 
on a horizontal plane than it is to get one that works on a vertical plane. Will you settle for the cheap chew? No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think we want a really expensive chew on this camel for Christmas. Otherwise, I think it, it will lose its credibility. It's a marvellous idea, just by folding. Roll it down three times, tie it the back into one fold. Tuck it down inside a jacket or a sweater. Rolling it over at the top, there's a blouse. You tuck it in at the back. Take away from the front. Crossing it over, bring it on the top, there's a turban. Selfridges has 21 acres of floor space, and by lunchtime, the place is packed. But there is the odd sanctuary. This is a beauty therapist. Her real name is Miss Hustler, but many years ago, a confused customer changed all that. <laughs> Client phoned up, she'd lived in the States, and she said, I can never remember whether her name is Hustler or Hooker. And unfortunately, <laughs> she spoke to the boss, and so ever since, <laughs> I'm Miss Hooker. <laughs> and after all, it's an easy way to remember, isn't it? Clients remember that. <laughs> yes, I suppose they do. I remember the days when I used to come here and sit on rocking horses as a child and have my hair cut. It was wonderful days. <laughs> it's a long time ago. It was a long time ago, about 20 years, I think. We used to have notices up outside in those days. Silence is requested. And one day a lady came in and she said in a loud voice, Oh, darling, do I need you today? My face is like a farmer's arse on a frosty <laughs> night. <laughs> she, she said it again for good measure. Hear everybody tittering all around the corridor. <laughs> and people who would come in, I remember one lady, Lady please, Elizabeth, please. and she said, I've just been to the bank because I'm going out this evening. And um, she said, have a look in that parcel. I opened the parcel, the most beautiful jewels, the ruby and diamond necklace and the earrings <coughs> and the bracelet. And she said, put them on. And I put them on and had a lovely time. <laughs> this wonderful Absolutely array of jewellery. And another time a lady came in and she said, I have something beautiful in that brown paper bag. Took it out, it was the most gorgeous tiara, which Lady X had lent her for the wedding, her wedding. Beautiful thing in the brown paper bag. Looks like a pound of apples. <laughs> <laughs> is Selfridges a, a sort of second home to you? I mean, does it I suppose it is, really. I've often thought about this. Having been here for so long, it's like a background, isn't it? And I often wonder how, if at all, I lean on it. You know, I've often thought about it, but I've enjoyed it so much, and I do enjoy it, that... Um, just get on with it, Julia. The store postman averages nine miles a day in the course of duty. His name is Morris, but he only answers to Norman because he's mad about Norman wisdom. Afternoon, girls. So what you want to do is cover all the eye with this. Hello, girls. Afternoon, girls. Afternoon, girls. Afternoon. You know, Norman, Norman wisdom is, is famous for that film set in a... Trouble in, in a store. store. Trouble in store. He was always getting into trouble, wasn't he? Yes, I. Do you get into trouble? I do at times. What sort of thing? I do things wrong, you know. Do you ever get sent up to the, the yes, bosses? Yes, yes, many of Three times. What for? When I sang to a, a buyer here in the store. Sang? Sang to her. Gave her letters. Thank you. How dare you, she said, you sing to me. I ring mean, Mr. Dallas. She did. Up I went. What's the idea, he said, singing to Mr. Dallas? And, or singing to this woman in the, in the umbrellas? I said, is it a crime? Don't sing to the woman. He clenched his teeth at me. Did he? Nasty man. <laughs> Were you like Norman Wisdom before? Uh, only since I came to the store. So you've worked at it? Yes, I've worked at it, all right. And I put my heart and soul into it. Hang on. All right, girls. Come and see me in my office sometime, will you? Second floor, no door.
showing off the goods in swimwear on the second floor. And you see, she is between these colours, is she? Uh, my, the mother-in-law. Mm. So I got to have something that is totally, you yeah, know, cool. different. Oh yeah. yeah. So if That's you wouldn't the, mind, they come a colour rather expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't very well hold a handbag with the uh, Amy red. Can you hold it? Give it to somebody. Okay. Oh, uh, Janet. They'll have the green dress. Yeah, but the trouble is that if this would have fitted, then I would have gone through anything to have got this opened the, up. The and, uh, alteration, we have to, of course... Uh, I don't mind sure how much it costs if they can do it. But uh, I haven't had time They're to do it today. Now, yes, really, I haven't had time to do it today, you see. When I was up here earlier on, over there, I'll show it to you tomorrow, Olive. You know my bedroom is green and white. The Horrocks have got a lovely cover and pillows lips to match. Oh, they're nice and if they've got curtains, I thought... I'd Two innocent-looking housewives who are not quite what they seem. They're store detectives, part of a large team who operate from headquarters equipped with television cameras which can focus on shoppers in every department. Ladies' dresses, ladies had a handbag stolen. What are they after? Are they nicking? Security. Do we know what uh, they're wearing? I don't know what the girls are wearing, no. Did Pam say where they were? No, you see, separate, I think. Selfridges can lose up to £3,000 a day through shoplifting, despite the efforts of experienced detectives like Bronwyn. When you spot it, what you think is a potential thief, then you look at their faces and you see that the eyes are not interested in the merchandise on the counter there and then and they're looking to the left, to the right, and over. And then you must forget their faces. And then you just watch their hands, because it's the hands it's going to take. Is it, is it dangerous? I mean, have you, have you ever been attacked by anyone? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, we have some people. Uh, they can be very nice when they're stopped. Uh, in a lot of instances, some could be fright, you know, uh, the knowledge you've been caught doing wrong and you're wondering what's going on. But you get the vicious shoplifter as well. 
uh, one of my colleagues, he had a knife across his throat, uh, a line on knife, been bitten. I've had anti tetanus injections and um, attended Middlesex Hospital, been bitten in the arms, been told I should be put in the oven, my colleague and I <laughs> should be put in the oven because. Um, the Germans would have done well by us if we'd been put in the ovens in Auschwitz and uh, bitten in the leg. We shall never go away, of course. Who got down there? Uh, she was a Marusian lady. She was carrying some bananas. She slipped in the bananas, fell on her knees and bit me in the leg. <laughs> and then... Um, Did she get away? No, indeed. No, no. Um, I could honestly say there's only very few I've lost and they've been bigger than me. <laughs> I keep asking for somebody to be on here, this side. Thanks, dear. You've lost one of them. We've just introduced a new pet coffin. Yeah. This is for children who've just lost their hamster or their gerbil or their butchery cup. Mm -hmm. And they put it in this little box and then they put the lid on. And we also supply a flowering bulb with this, a crocus. Yeah. And when they buried the box, they put the crocus in on top of it and then they can remember it in oh, the years. Certainly unusual. It's oh, great. It's all made of cardboard deliberately yeah. so that uh, you don't dig it up in a year's time. It's all biodegradable, so it all disappears. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, children forget things very quickly and to make it disappear is fine. What sort of, what's that you've got? Is that a... This is a, this is a poster which we thought you could hang up yeah. rather than have these on the shelf. Yeah. If you hold these up in the shop so that when people come in, I mean, I... pets don't die all the time. No, right. You always grow. Always grow. If it's very badly creased, let's leave it there for a few seconds, you see? But if it's not too bad... Has it ever chapped your hands, all that, Steve? Too wicked to burn. Said. Yeah, that was funny, and, wasn't um, it? Yeah. When we stopped him outside, he said he forgot it was on his head. Oh. Do you remember? <laughs> I remember that. Oh. That was funny, wasn't yeah. it? He was quite funny, really, wasn't he, that man? Yeah. Uh, he took it all in good part, didn't now, he? I know his face again. Yeah. I forgot his name. Took it all in yeah. good part, though. Mm. Excuse me. Hello. Would you like to try some, Shaw? It's our new fragrance by Christian Dior. Hold on a moment. We're giving away a lovely bag and a soap free when you mm -hmm. spend £12. Ah, uh -huh. well, I'm not going to do that. Why is that? Don't you need any aftershave today? No. No? We'll take a leaflet on the promotion, OK? Thank you. I'm starving, hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, Selfridges is now closing. We thank you for shopping with us and take this opportunity to wish you a safe journey home and look forward to seeing you soon. Good evening. Since nine o'clock, Selfridges have taken between a quarter and half a million pounds. Now it's a ghostly place again. But at ten to nine tomorrow, the same cast of 3,000 will be standing by for another performance. <laughs>